I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I'm no stranger to the competitive arena and what can be accomplished by having an edge. Join me as I examine new programs, methods, and technology designed to give a player the edge. Whether you're an athlete, weekend warrior, or simply an average Joe nagged by orthopedic and muscular skeletal pain, the discomfort felt from such conditions can put you on the sidelines in the big game as well as in everyday life. Just ask LSU alumnus and Tampa Bay Buccaneers linebacker Jacob Cutrera. I was having really severe neck pain, like a sharp pain in my neck when I put my tilt my head back. And you know, playing linebacker, you got to use your head. Your neck's gonna be involved, so you know I, I needed to get this problem solved. Elbow up. Fortunately for Cutrera, physical therapist Ricky Lane is trained in a growing physical therapy technique known as dry needling or trigger point dry needling. Uh, dry needling has been a tremendous adjunct to my professional practice and what I do on a daily basis. I'm on contract with LSU and I treat a tremendous amount of athletes. It's been an unbelievable tool for me and my tool chest to be able to treat athletes at a higher level and with more efficiency. Dry needling has been performed internationally by physical therapists for over 40 years. It has increased in the U.S. since 2005 and is used today by the military, professional sports teams, and in physical therapy clinics. Organizations like Brighton, Colorado Base, Kinetikor are actively involved in educating and training physical therapists on the technique. We're going to do a course on functional dry needling today. Physical therapist and functional dry needling expert Ado Zylstra is the organization's founder and developer of functional dry needling, a movement-based variation of trigger point dry needling. A trigger point is a spot in a muscle that can cause pain. We have active trigger points which re really reproduce pain that the patient is familiar with. And that trigger point is a dysfunction of the connection between the nerve and the muscle. That in itself can cause muscle tension, which causes muscle restriction, which then limits movement function. Trigger point dry needling is utilized to deactivate the trigger point, to reset that muscle, to treat numerous painful conditions such as plantar fasciitis, low back pain, headaches. Dry needling is performed by one palpation of the dysfunctional tissue that is associated with possibly a, a movement, as well as the, the tissue that is causing pain. We then um, insert the needle into that tissue, trying to elicit a twitch response. That twitch response then resets how that muscle functions, improving the, the joint mobility, reducing pain, and really allowing us to progress that patient into more of a corrective exercise that is very specific to that um, movement impairment that they came in to see us for. During the treatment, patients often feel a cramping sensation from the twitch response in the muscle being treated, often followed by immediate improvement of their symptoms. I feel great. I wake up in the morning feeling good. I used to wake up, my neck killing me. You know, I had to get in the hot shower just to loosen everything up. Both calves feel great. I feel even faster than before because they're so loose and they're not balled up in knots like they were before. Any pain with that? <laughs> the technique saved Let's Leslie Pulaski from lumbar surgery. I had an accident a couple years ago. Um, well, actually, it's been about eight years ago where I got a bulge disc in my back. I was looking at lumbar surgery. I was young, uh, scared. Ado and I were working together at the time, and he offered for me to see him regularly once a week and receive dry needling before I, I went forward with the surgery, and I'm so thankful I did. I, it absolutely saved me from the surgery, and eight years later, still haven't had surgery, and I'm out of pain. Kinetikor offers introductory and advanced functional dry needling courses. To date, Kinetikor has certified nearly 1,000 North American providers in dry needling techniques. I see the future of dry needling as very exciting and bright for us. It gives us as physical therapists a great tool to address musculoskeletal injuries, to hopefully prevent more injuries. It's paramount that we incorporate this into training as, as physical therapists.